This is going to be the 11th and 12th appearance for the City League by my count since the late 90s in the state tournament, which is incredible. I don't know how many leagues have done that, and we're talking four different schools. Uh, Will, how do you explain that? Uh, the league is good. The City League is competitive. Uh, we got great kids, great athletes, um, kids that play the game year round. Monty here been playing for a long time. She comes from a great stock of basketball. The funny thing is, I got a chance to actually coach her during AAU. Uh, I just think uh, a combination of great kids, great supportive parents, and, and the girls from the city league. So many of them, they, they put a lot of work into the game. You know, they, they do it year round, and a lot of them play multiple sports. So combination of all those things kind of lead to, to you know, some, some success. Amani, you're, you're putting up a banner your senior year in the gym. Uh, could you just talk about the, the thrill of, of getting Eastmore in the Final Four? Um, I just am really excited and I'm happy for my team and um, my coach, who is just, this is her second year, so I think that's great that she, she came in and just kind of turned the program around a little bit. Um, I'm excited to play at the shot. I've never done it before. I've always watched the, um, the championship on TV, so for, for me to be in the, the Final Four now is it's amazing. What's a City League game like? You won a championship last year. What's a typical City League game like? Um, it's very intense. It's very hot in the gym because it's always a lot of people, especially East Moore against Afrocentric. It's always really heated. Um, and it's always a good competitive game.